In this video, I would like to show you how you can save the analysis or a set of clipboards to the patient file. Now, let me open this PowerPoint. So I have symptoms in one or more clipboards and I want to save it to the patient file. And I can do that to an existing patient or a new patient. And let me remind you that everything you save inside Radar Opus to the patient file or the option save to a folder that is outside the patient file but still inside the Radar Opus database complies with the new AU law that it's password protected and 256 bits encrypted. Okay, let me show you how this works. To show you my starting point, I click here on the list of patients and you see I have already two patients in this list. But my list of patients does not need to be open. So let me click here on repertories. So I've taken a few symptoms in one or more of the clipboards. Let me just add another one. So here I add another one and let's say I'm finished. I've done my analysis and I want to save it to an existing patient or a new patient. Now, let me remind you also that there is also another way where you first open your patient file and then start to work. That is actually the best because then when you save your patient, the clipboards are automatically saved. But that I will show you in the next video. So here I did it actually wrong. So I first start to repertorize. I take symptoms in the clipboard. I have no patient file open. And I say, I need to save these clipboards to an existing patient or a new patient. Let me first show you how to save it to a new patient. So I right mouse click on one of the clipboards or I can use on Mac the hotkeys Command S or on Windows Control S. So I right mouse click here and I say save the analysis. Then in this window there are two options related to the patient file. The first one is save current analysis to an existing patient. And this one is save current analysis to a new patient. Let's do this one now. So I just need to give it a first name and a last name. And I can also give it a date. So let me take another uh, Dutch uh, painter. So uh, I type here first name, Karel. And on the keyboard, you press the tab key. That works the fastest. So I press the tabulator, the tab key. And I say Apple and I can press again the tab key. Now here is shown European date format, but uh, there's also a US format. So and I start to type, for example, 0210 and let's say 1960. And at the bottom I click here on save. Now if I click here on my list of patients, I see that there is a third patient added. Now to make it more clear in this example, let me first clear these clipboards. So I right mouse click and I say clear all clipboards and my clipboards are empty and the analysis gone. So let's say this patient, so I'm here in my repertories. So let's say this patient comes back after a few weeks and you want to recall that patient. You click on your list of patients and I can start to type, for example, Apple, and there he is. If I single click on it, I will get the following question. You just opened a patient file. Do you want to recall the last save analysis of this patient? Now, if I say here, yes, let me do that. You will see that the symptoms are recalled in the clipboard and the analysis is open. So here there's a top with the last saved analysis. And of course this was the newly created uh, patient which only has one consultation and I had one set of clipboards saved. So this is the top of the patient. Okay, let me start over 
and show you now how you can save the analysis to an existing patient. Let me first clear everything. So I close here the patient file, I close the analysis, I do right mouse click and I say clear all clipboards and let me start all over and I click your repertory. So this is my clean starting point. Okay, I'm doing my analysis. I'm taking symptoms into the clipboards and when I'm ready, I want to save it. So let me do it quickly. Let me do here, uh, take, take with options and let me take that symptom including the cross references so in one go i have here 20 symptoms in clipboard number one so i've taken here absorb with all the cross references okay this is the analysis and i want to save it to an existing patient okay i do again right mouse click or on mac command s or on windows Control s and I say save the analysis and then I select here save current analysis to an existing patient so save current analysis to an existing patient so you see here the patients which I have in my list already and now I can select or the name of the patient only or the consultation so let me open here this cow apple it has only one consultation. Or I open here, for example, this one, Jan Steen, and you see that there are two consultations. Now, if I select only the name, automatically a new consultation will be made. Or if I select a date, it will be saved to that consultation. So, for example, here uh, Jan Steen, he has two consultations. And let me just select only the patient. So, only the patient name. I select here, save, and you get a warning message. Hey, you have only selected the name. Do you want to create automatically a new consultation? I say here, yes. Okay, let me show you now what the result is. This is my list of patients. Let me clear here all the clipboards. I say clear all clipboards. You see the analysis tab is gone and the clipboards are empty. Okay. I want to recall that patient and I click here on one time, a single click on Jan Steen. And I get the question, do you want to recall the last save analysis of this patient. Okay, let me do in this case, yes. And you see that the symptoms are automatically recalled in the clipboards. And there's a tab open with the analysis. So I click here on the patient file. Now, let me click here on the overview of the consultations on the table. And you see that for this patient, for Jan Steen, there are three consultations and the first consultation has three symptoms. There's the next consultation which has two analysis and the last consultation is this one with the 20 rubrics. Okay, I think this was it for this video. There will be another video which explains the whole workflow, how you can work with the patient file and have these clipboards saved automatically.